Hello, welcome to section 2-1, inductive reasoning. Okay, sum it up in about one word. Inductive reasoning is when you look at patterns. Okay, you look at what has happened to find out what's going to happen. Okay, super good. Okay, now, so we know inductive reasoning is patterns. It's whenever we look at something that's continued over an amount of time and we assume what's going to happen next. Okay. Now, what you assume to be true is called a conjecture. That's an R. Look at that. Look how important that looks with stars. That's pretty. Okay. So, conjecture. Pretty much what a conjecture is, it is a statement you believe to be true. Like, if yeah. I said, yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday, I can look at the pattern and say, tomorrow's probably going to be Wednesday. That's using inductive reasoning to notice a pattern. Okay, The fact that I say, if the, yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. That is my conjecture. Conjecture. Rhymes with smooth mixture. The end. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the official definition is a statement that you believe to be true based on inductive reasoning. So, it's what I just said, but less cool. No, never mind. Okay, examples. Okay, okay. Now, say they give us this. Three, six, nine, and we got to find what's next. Okay, we're going to use inductive reasoning because we're going to look at what's happening to find out what's going to happen. Easiest way to do this. I know this is someone you probably already got it, but I'm going to show you how to get it so you can get the more complicated ones. From three to six, look at everything that can happen. Look at everything that can be done to go from three to six. We could add three to it to get six. We can multiply it by two. Um, I mean, we could divide it by one and a half, but that would be stupid, and it's the same thing as multiplying by two. So these are our two options. Now, we ignore this, and we try to figure out what happened from six to nine. Okay, what do you do to go from 6 to 9? Well, obviously out of these two, I know that you can add 3. Because when you multiply 6 times 2, that's 12. That's wrong. You're stupid. Okay, so don't do that. I'm kidding, that's stupid. You're very wonderful. Alright, so if I think he's going up by 3, I can guess that if I add 3 to 9, it's going to give me my new number, 12. I know, it's great. Super good. Wonderful. Okay, <clears throat> let's do another example problem. What, three, two? One, three, two, four, something, something, three, five. Now, I know the first thing you're thinking is, oh, look, a fraction. I quit. I skip it and go to the next one. Don't do that, little guys, because it's not that bad. I'm going to show you how to do it. One third, okay? We're ignoring this. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore this as well. What's it do to go from one to two? You add one. Oh my goodness. Or you multiply it times 2. Now, look at it from 2 to 3. What do you do to go from 2 to 3? Look at that. You add 1. So guess what you're going to do over here? You're going to add 1. Now we look at the bottom part. What's happening? 3, 4, 5. Next number is going to be 6. Oh, snap. Okay? Another example. So you got an arrow that goes that way. Arrow that goes that way. Air that goes that way. Look at what's happening. You went from here to here. And you went here to there. So I'm going to guess the last way it's going to go up. Okay? Look at what's happening, and you can usually figure out what's going to happen. Don't get overwhelmed by all the numbers whenever you can just look at that. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you one you'll probably see because, especially dealing with this, you see this a lot. Okay? And then you have to name the next ones. All right? I think believe these are called the Fibonacci numbers because they are. So this is what you do. This looks complicated. You're like, oh dear. This is changing. Like this is from here to here. You didn't do anything. Uh, from here, you added zero. From here to here, you added one. From here to here, you added one. From here to here, you added two. That's ridiculous. That there's no pattern there. It goes zero, one, one, two. Okay. Well, take a glance back at what it is. What do you think the next number is going to be? 
because they're adding whatever is in front of the number to it. Okay, so 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 plus 8, 13. And so on until you count to a million zillion, and that's the end. I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to talk anymore.